Hello YouTube. Thought we'd do a quick video here. Um, what I'm going to try to do is I, I want to try to connect all the repeaters, all the GMRS repeaters onto one channel. Now the good news is we can use Zello for this and we don't need Raspberry Pi and we don't need all this other extra circuit boards to do all this. Um, if you have your repeater online in the area that you're at you can have your repeater join this channel and other repeaters will hope will be joining in the next few weeks and we can have all the repeaters on one air on one channel I think it'd be kinda cool and the cool thing is if you're not by your repeater or you're not within the repeater distance you can use the app and be in, you know next town over or if you're traveling or whatever you can hop on the app and, and talk with the repeaters um, also too. The thing is that we want, we need to, dis to we, we need to be able to tell who's a user and who's a repeater. So when you connect your repeater to this channel, we need you to make a username for that repeater that's unique. Like what I mean for an example is if you want to use your call sign underscore um, the state the repeater's in, that's great, but we got to keep it. We can't have, like, for an example, I'm in Wisconsin. I just can't have my repeater named Wisconsin because then if somebody else comes in with a Wisconsin repeater, you know, what, you know, we, we, we want to try to narrow it down if possible. You can, you can also use the, 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 the town, you know, uh, the township and then the state name repeater, but make sure it has the word repeater in it so that we know, okay, that's a repeater that's not a user and the reason why we need to know this is because what we're gonna do is if for some reason which which will happen over time if everything's electronic if a repeater malfunctions and it starts to transmit we need to know okay that's a repeater because the user name is blah 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 repeater we can mute that user so it doesn't tie up the channel or we can temporarily remove that user from the channel and then notify that particular repeater owner hey your repeaters acting up you, you, you need to check it or fix it or whatever so that's why we need to know who's a repeater and who's a user because obviously if you're going to be hopping on this channel with the app to talk because you're too far away from your repeater then you would use a different name on on your phone you know blah 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 whatever nickname or whatever you use um, you know obviously my user name is the Wisconsin gambler but my repeater won't be called that when I get my repeater back online so that's the thing that we just kind of a requirement we need to know who's repeater and who's not and if you put their name repeater in your username for that for your repeater that will tell us that it's a repeater so uh, and like I said what cool thing is is we don't need no Raspberry Pi we don't need none of this other fancy circuitry and you can use any type as long as you can get your repeater online with Zello you can use any equipment you want um, whether it's a handheld or a mobile or whatever modifications you're going to do to it. Um, that's the beauty of this is you don't need that Raspberry Pi to do this or to buy a node or whatever they do it. So, but to enter this, once you get your Zello up, you go to tools and you go to add a channel and you got to type it in as you see right here exactly this way with the underscores and I made it worldwide because it can be anyone throughout the world that want to connect you don't have to be in the US so um, but you gotta type it in and then you'll see this after you type it in and then add a channel and then you hit next I don't want to do that because I already obviously added it but that's how you do but you gotta type in exactly the way you see it here with the underscores so and then you can add that and like I said um, right now there's not any but o hopefully over time I'll, I'll, I'll add mine when I get mine back on you know back working um, there's a few other guys I know that will probably add them to this channel 
and uh, this way we can have everyone be on one channel with the repeater um, and it just yeah it just makes sense yeah I apologize for the name being real long but like one of the um, the one of the people I talked with on my on my um, Zello channel recommended I, I, I include my YouTube name and as you can see um, I did that obviously so that's why it's kind of long but that's how that came about but at any rate so that's how you do it if you want to know how to get your repeater online watch my videos I, I got a whole bunch of videos that, uh, that will show you and I'm hoping if all goes well I'll get my RT97 online direct link so make sure you watch those videos too as I start to do this build so any comments or questions please post them down below and please subscribe and thank you and have a good day